Transmission Impossible. Yes, welcome. Guten Tag, hola, ciao, banjo, kakosi, ahoy, svevus, lapdien, zvaikas, mehoba, and novok. Yeah, uh, no, Simon, Simon, you're not allowed to swear on the BBC. No, 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 Trev, I'm not swearing. I'm, I'm welcoming people of many nations. Uh, that last one, by the way, was welcome to the people of Romania. Great, and um, are they watching? Well, well, no, no, not quite. Well, well, they won't be watching us, but they will be watching this programme. Oh, oh, yeah, no, I forgot, that's right. We're in a very celebratory mood, actually, because earlier this week, well, Tuesday, in fact, we managed to sell the format of Transmission Impossible to 14 other countries. That's right, Jess, and uh, let me just work this out. Uh, uh, it's £17 a country, that equals a, a magnificent £238! Wow. Now listen, you'd be wrong if you thought that money went straight into our pockets, because it doesn't, because we've gone out and spent it all on pop for the crew of this programme! Pop! Get your pop! Go and get your pop! Here's in. your pop! Can't pop. stop pop. laughing at yeah, that! Here's your pop. Get your pop! Watch it with that pop! Don't, don't drink it too quickly, you know you'll get gas! Yeah, get... <laughs> yeah. I told you we should have got them crisps. Yeah. Anyway, enough nonsense. Now, throughout the show, we're going to see how these new formats of Transmission Impossible translate into other cultures. So first, we're going to have a look at how the French have done it. So let's have a look at a clip of Le Transmission n'est pas possible. Salut à tous, mes petits enfants. Je m'appelle Trève. Moi, je suis la belle Simone. Et Simone, Simone, tu sais, mon chien, il n'a pas de nez. Mais comment est-ce qu'il peut sentir Il pue d'ailleurs, il mange des escargots et je laisse faire caca dans les rues. I like that, I like that. It brings a sort of Parisian chic to the proceedings. Yeah, but Trev, I was a woman. Yeah, and? <laughs> oh, anyway, Mitch, or yes. Butch, as they call you in Canada. Butch. Tell us what's coming up in the original British version of Transmission Impossible. Well, this week's show is as full of true Brit humour as a pair of Union Jack underpants, including the great British Bobby and other eccentrics. Dominic and Daniel continue their mission to explain the world of art. And the national pastime of pickling will be safe in the hands of Jeff and Joby. But it's a foreign flavour as we learn that we are fortunate to be human compared to the life of the snail. And the out of time dancers shimmy their way into the studio. <laughs> Those lot should be caned. Yeah. <laughs> no, not really, not really. Anyway, now it's time for that man that the Spanish are calling Pedro Planet. And he's known in Australia as Bruce Sphere. We call him Tony Globes. He's got the No, 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 it, no, 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 none of that. Have you seen what they've done to me in Iceland? The Icelandic version of Transmission Impossible, I'm called Tony Moon. Oh, right, so it's you, but you're just a big round moon. No, he's just a big bottom. Oh, oh no, no, no. Hey, I'll yeah. tell you something, you've hit rock bottom. Oh. Look, I'm going to be nice to you for once. Go and get a bottle of pop. Go oh, on. Hi, cheers, thanks, of course. See you later. Oh, dear. Well, now it's time to go out and about and ask the question, do you believe in space aliens? Space aliens? Oh, oh yes, I do believe in them, as a matter of fact. Uh, although I recently made a bit of a mistake. I saw one of those uh, hot air balloon things. Uh, blimps, yes, and uh, I mistook it for a UFO about to launch an attack on our city. It wasn't until after I'd notified the emergency services, the uh, military, that I realised my mistake. I think this is an alien message interceptor. Oh, yeah. You most probably just think it's an old TV aerial. Well, if you're the expert, hey, go on, you have a go. Go on, find a UFO! I'll believe in anything after what I saw today. A huge, twisting line of fluid cutting through the land like a snake. A river, they call it. They're wonderful. <laughs> I'll just feed the results of that into my uh, Simon organizer. Oh, by the way, Trev, have you seen what they're feeding the results into in the uh, Russian version of our program? No, what? Transmit Sputnik. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that's very good, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Marvellous. That. Well, I think the Germans have got a better idea of how to adapt the format mm -hmm. of Transmission Possible. So let's have a look at the German program. Let's have a look at a clip of Donner und Blitzen es ist Transmission nicht possible. Guten Tag, Tante und Onkel. Guck mal auf diesen runden Idiot Hermann Welt. Er stinkt und er ist nicht lustig, aber wir sind wahnsinnig lustig. Also, werfen wir mal diese alte stinkende Cola auf ihn zu, ne? Oh, ja, ja. Oh, that format works perfectly! Spot on! Oh, yes. Now, something else that unites the international community, of course, is the internet. And uh, here's how it works. 
how it works, an A to Z of explanation. I. I is for the Internet. The Internet is a huge network of information which can be accessed using a computer. Here's how it works. An ordinary PC can only gain access to the Internet when it is connected to a modem. A modem is the headquarters of a local minicab firm run by Pixies. The Pixie minicabs are so small, they are able to drive through telephone cables. When your computer dials the Internet access number, it is contacting the Pixie minicab controller. He sends a Pixie driver out to the location you have requested. The little minicab drives out of the back of the modem, along the telephone line, until it reaches the requested destination. The Pixie driver collects the relevant information and drives back along the telephone line and back into the modem. Here, the information is handed over to a Pixie teenager on work experience, whose job it is to run along the connecting cable to the computer and, using a ladder and a pot of glue, paste the information onto the monitor screen. And that's how it works. <laughs> Hello, Pakalas! Pakalan Jeff here with Jobe! Jobe, Jobe! We're just about to start some Pakalan! Oh, that's a good suggestion, Jobe! All right, Pakalas, let's go! It's Pakalan time! It's Pakalan time with Pickle and Jeff, and Jobe is here as well! They pickle this, they pickle that! If you don't watch out, they'll pickle your hat! It's Pakalan time with a Pickle and Jeff, and Jobe is here as well! Yeehaw! There we are, all done. And this week we've pickled a pen. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, Joby, Joby. Oh, what is it now? Oh, my Joby's pickled some ink. <laughs> Goodbye, Jackie's. <laughs> Cousin Sam! <laughs> Not your cousin. Oh, all right, all right. Look, I'm popular all over the world now. I am, I am, see? Popular all over the world. And, uh, hang on. If I'm popular all over the world, and the world is me, and I'm popular all over me, then that means that the only person that likes me is me. Sounds about right. I think you better go and watch something else. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm... Dominic Belgedis. <laughs> and I'm Daniel Cakebread. That's right, and this is Art Forum. Now today we're looking at portrait painting because many great artists have painted portraits in many different ways, haven't they, Daniel? Yes, indeed, Dominic. For example, this portrait of Vincent van Gogh, which he painted of himself. Yes, now you can see that van Gogh here has really expressed himself using very bright and vivid colours. Yes, and now yeah. let's take a look at this painting by Picasso, a portrait of a woman called Weeping woman. Yes, now you see, Picasso has really captured the character of this woman, but in an altogether very different way. Yes, mm. he painted it without his glasses on. No, 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 Daniel, no. It's supposed to be like that. You see, this oh. is cubism. You see, cubism is a form of abstract painting. Actually, I've done a portrait of you in an abstract style. Oh, look, oh, marvelous. There. Oh, oh, Dominic, oh, oh, it's just a load of old scribble. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, so it is, I'm sorry, no, what am I doing? This, this is a painting my uh, nephew brought home from Playgroup. No, oh. this is my portrait of you. There we are. That's... Uh. Oh, Dominic, it, it's wonderful. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh, Dominic, yeah. I've done a painting of you too, but I've done it in the minimalist style. Oh, right. Here, what do you think? Oh, where is it? Oh yes, there, oh yes. Oh, tremendous, mm, very minimalist, yes. yes. Mm. Anyway, now I think it's time to introduce our special guest, so please welcome the international pop singing superstar, Sting! Hello, Sting, and uh, welcome to Art Forum. Yes, now, Sting, you like to patronise the arts, don't you? Yes, and you like to patronise me, don't you? Oh, oh, oh no, Sting, no. how could the likes of us look down on you? Yes, you're an intelligent man, Sting. You're like Jimmy Nail with A-Level. 
levels. Yes. <laughs> you used to be a teacher too, didn't you? Did, did you teach art? No, I didn't. Oh, and what did you teach them? Was it English, history? It obviously wasn't music, was it? <laughs> here we go again. Oh. Oh. Look, I haven't come here for you to insult my music, all right? I'm ever so sorry. Should we uh, insult your hair instead? No! <laughs> Look, I thought you wanted to paint my portrait or oh, something. Oh, no, we do, Sting, we do. Have you ever had your portrait painted before? Yes, as it happens. Ooh, like a Jimmy Savile. <laughs> Can we have a look at it, then? Well, there are several portraits of me on the cover of this book. It's called Sting, the illustrated lyrics, and the artist is called Robert Gligoroff. Oh, Ooh. tremendous. Oh, yes. Look, Sting, look. Look, it's you. Lots of pictures of you like different people in history. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I've written the introduction to the book in which I describe the artist's work. And yeah, 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 yes, yes. All right, all right. Well, let's just get on with things, shall we? And uh, we've done some portraits of you ourselves, Sting. That's really? right. But this time, we've made you look like lots of different people from the world of pop. Here's the first one. We call it Sting Zone. Mm. There we are. Yes. Yeah. And now can we have a look at the next one? We call this Spice Sting. There. <laughs> spice Sting, yes. And finally, here's one called Wacko Stingo. There we are. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, Sting, what do you think of our collection? Very funny, I'm sure. Look, Jimmy Nail told me about you last week. Yeah. Well, you've had your fun, I suppose. At least there weren't any stupid bee jokes. Oh, yeah. oh, no, I forgot. There is one more pop patron, pop, pop, pop portrait of you. It's you as voice of the beehive. Oh. There we are. Oh, yes, that's right, Steve. Yeah. Express yourself. Oh. Let yourself go. Let yourself go. Oh, oh yes. Let's all be angry bees and roll on the floor. <laughs> Welcome, amigos, to yet another wonderful world of wacky creatures. Amigos, we are so fortunate to be human, it makes me puke. Life for many is an uphill struggle, we know. But at least you ain't struggling uphill with a house strapped to your back. This is the life of the snail. This little slime ball has to carry its home about everywhere it goes, like my brother here. Oh, man. Oh, oh, hey, thank jeepers, I live in a doll's house, not a real one, man. <laughs> and be lucky you have two ordinary feet, too, brother. The snail has just one single feet, one single slippy, slimy feet, like a piece of slop you'll find in a pickled well. Oh, so I should hop around like this. Oh, now you are getting it, yes. <laughs> but the one thing that makes this animated slash puppy so unique is that it is neither a lady nor a gentleman. Yes, it is both if you get my drift. It has both lots of beats. No way, man. That I will not do. <laughs> so you see, in this case, my brother can say he definitely is fortunate to be human. I'm not saying a thing against it. Muchas gracias, amigos. Adios. <laughs> Bye. Oh, thank goodness we're human, eh? Thank goodness. Anyway, mm -hmm. now I think it's finally time to have a look at what the Japanese have done with Transmission Impossible. Yeah, this time it's Art Forum, or as they call it, I hope I get this right, Art Forum! Daniel, you're Dominic and Daniel there, turning Japanese. <laughs> Very good. And now it's time for a word from our sponsors. Bye. Uh... Yeah, we got the results this morning. Absolutely brilliant news. We were completely unexpected. We didn't know what, what we were going to do. If you've got some good news to celebrate, get on the phone and share it with somebody. It's good to cook. <laughs> <laughs>